The same employees also internally acknowledged that the messages were not sexual in nature. That's not even true! He said they acknowledged they weren't legally sexting. If Doc is even telling the truth there, that doesn't mean they weren't sexual in nature. <laughs> Why are you- you don't even know what happened. Dr. Disrespect never even made that claim. I'm convinced that Jeremy never actually watched Doc's video. He re He probably is drunk or something again. All right, anyway, we're gonna start watching the-, the Two months ago, Dr. Disrespect was eating a cupcake. I'm gonna eat my cupcake and I'm gonna celebrate. Nothing you're gonna do about it. I was actually coming out here to pick up a cupcake. When he was Based. exposed by an ex-Twitch employee for messaging a minor and allegedly trying to meet up with her at TwitchCon. Doc responded by admitting he inappropriately messaged a minor and that he fled on vacation for two months. I'm actually tired of being on social media. Upon his return, he would say that he purposely made himself look like a pedo to bait journalist. He's been playing chess this whole time. You also said the word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement, edited, etc., just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> it's like, bro, you yourself said the word minor. Like, what's it? this is like the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Oh, I put the word minor in my response to bait people so I can sue them for slander. Doc is not going to sue a single journalist for slander. You cannot sue someone successfully in court because they reported things that you yourself admitted to. All he said was, I had inappropriate interactions with a minor. Journalist reported, Dr. Disrespect is admitted to having inappropriate interactions with a minor. And you're like, oh, I was 5D chess, now I can sue you. You're not going to sue fucking anyone, you fucking loser. He's a liar. And boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. The logic makes no sense. It's comical. At one point, he starts to compare him messaging a minor to a guy saying the N-word. Take a look at some of these horrendous acts of Twitch streamers that were never banned. I've got some examples right here. A streamer that frequently used the N-word while publicly streaming. And for the second time... Wow. What a terrible thing. He used the N-word while streaming? Whoa, that's just as bad as having inappropriate interactions with a minor. W. Doc, calling out racism. Like, why would he even say that as if his audience gives a fuck? Isn't his audience like kind of edgy? Aren't they, aren't they supposed to be kind of based or something? Why does that even matter? That's not, that's not, that doesn't level, that doesn't come close to the level of what you were accused of and then admitted to, okay? It doesn't even come close. It doesn't matter, in fact. Time this year, the most incriminating part of the Dr. Disrespect allegations is coming from Dr. Disrespect himself, acknowledging that he did message a minor. And I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. It was an approach. But she was above the age of consent in her state, so it's fine. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age. Tom, don't underestimate yourself. Ian has a 0-2 record in fights. While you have 1-0, you could easily beat him. All right, buddy, we'll see. <laughs> Just know. But also, yeah, that was me. At UFC, that was me. Age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. Despite all of this, Dr. Disrespect came back to a loving audience that ate up his story. Over 200,000 live viewers. I love the Champions Club. That's one thing that just stands out. I have seen recently when he's been streaming, it hasn't been nearly that high. It's been like 10,000, 20,000, which is still good, obviously. But the viewership has not been anywhere close to where it was. Like, he's streaming right now. He's got 23,000 live. I mean, that's not that's not bad by any means. That's still very impressive. That's a good viewership. But, you know, people assumed he was going to come back and just have this, like, giant, massive audience. But he doesn't really have that. He's back to, you know, grinding. I would guess this is lower average viewership than he's had for a long time. And once again, sub-only mode. You can't, even, you can't even talk about the allegations. You can't even comment on it. He probably freaked out if he sees it in chat. We're actually real people here. And it's because of the horrendous way Twitch and gaming journalists have handled this entire situation. This is a story filled with lies, backstabs, and demeaning people for asking the right questions. People want to show the messages, release the messages, show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? But ultimately it does provide what a what a weird response. What are we in second grade? Why not just say the messages aren't that bad? If you're gonna lie about it, why not just say they're not that bad? You know? Why be like, oh, what are we in second grade? You're dumb for even suggesting that. It's like, why would you say that? Why would you say they're dumb for suggesting that you disprove your own allegations? That was probably one of his fans too, who asked him to do that because they had it was in sub only mode. I would guess they're pretty fucking bad if he doesn't want to leak them. Provide us with enough information to finally have the full story when it comes to Doctor Disrespect's Twitch ban. It's disturbing. It's gross, like the crust and dust in your ancient computer that blue screens all the time. You almost got me. Thank you meta PCs for sponsoring this video. I find it hilarious that Doc is trying to frame himself as a super genius at the moment when his entire downfall is due to his own Metalcore breakdowns and clean pop music equals worse music. Yeah, I agree with that. That sucks. That kind of stuff sucks. I hate it. 
actions. When the Dr. Disrespect allegations first aired, most reasonable people were willing to wait for Doc's response before forming an opinion. At this time, former Twitch staff was giving testimonies and it seemed like the messages were going to leak, so Dr. Disrespect gave a statement coming clean. I'd like to make a quick statement, let's cut the effing bullshit. Were there Twitch whisper messages with an individual minor back in 2017? The answer is yes. Were there real intentions behind those messages? The answer is absolutely not. These were casual, mutual conversations that sometimes- Even saying real intentions is really weird, like- what do you mean real intentions? When you say real, it implies there was some kind of like fantasy aspect you were engaging in with this person, but you're like, oh, they weren't real intentions. If you had just said, if you had just said, I never desired to have any kind of sexual interaction with a minor. I never proposed that. I never did that. Like that would have, I feel like been much better in your defense than this. And I think the reason he admitted this is because he thought the messages might be coming out or there might be more info about it released. He, he apologizes for it here. Like he does apologize. It would be interesting if Doc were to accidentally use Tom's favorite word on stream after all of this. I think he would be forgiven if he did that, <laughs> for sure. It's leaned a bit too much in the direction of being inappropriate, but nothing more. So when Doc was 35 years old and actively cheating on his wife, he admits to inappropriately messaging a minor. Yeah, you just gotta read in between the lines a little bit there to see what's happening. His own friends abandoned him. He was messaging. And keep in mind the reason, the, the part of the reason that they abandoned him, quote unquote, is because he messaged them and said, sorry for roping you into this shit. People People give Nick Merckx and Tim the Tapman shit for not defending Doc when he personally messaged them and said, sorry I roped you into this shit. He did not defend himself. He did not claim he was innocent. He did not say there's more truth to the allegations that are going to come out, which is what he would have said if he thought it was innocent. Instead, what he said was, I'm sorry for getting you involved in this, and that's it. Like, it doesn't make sense. The biological data members suck. What do you mean? They're the heaviest death metal band of all time. What do you mean? A minor, and it would sometimes lead to teeter on inappropriate if he knew that was a minor. And those were the messages being sent. I cannot support that. He was texting an underage girl and it went weird sometimes, you know, and, and look. And like the, the thing about it is like, it's not even the, like these guys are like exaggerating or taking them out of context. They literally are just repeating what he admitted to. They're not saying like he groomed a kid and fucked the kid and he, he raped a child. Like they're not even saying that. They're just like, this is what he said. What he said is enough that I don't want to be around him. That's all they said. There's no reason for them to associate with Doc at all after what he admitted to. I wouldn't. Just to, just to be blunt and straightforward, man, I, it, that's, that's inexcusable, it's unacceptable, right? That should be a wrap. The problem is, the messages never leaked. The people who saw the messages spoke anonymously about it, saying the girl made aware that they were underage during the conversation, after which Doc reiterated that it was no problem and continued on. There was no confusion. Messages sent out here were no less graphic or sexually explicit in nature than before, saying it was more than the word inappropriate might indicate. And although it provides some insight, it's anonymous. No public-facing person has seen the messages not cody not the journalist who spearheaded the story which allows doc to lie about the situation and get plausible deniability from his audience that one either hasn't seen everything or two is mentally coping about it that's 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 where twitch and slasher and all these people fucked up which is like terrible terrible because they allowed him to get away with it they did you know if we just had those dms it would be over for everyone Actually, that's not even true. I bet if we had the DMs, people would try to defend it. People would try to defend it no matter how bad it was. I think they would still try to defend him, honestly. Because there's like a market now of people who like want to defend him. His credibility can only go and are unwilling to acknowledge the truth of the situation, which is clearly that Doc did something wrong. He admitted it himself, openly. So far. In fact, Slasher, the main journalist behind this story, would go on Hassan's stream and spew out unverified information that would be proven wrong less than two hours later. I did get a DM about an hour ago from someone who lives in Encientes, um, near Rancho. Like, this is like a dog pack 404 thing. It's like, I got a DM from someone, and it said this. Let me say it on a public live stream. Let me personally make this allegation. It's like, why would you even do that? Why would you ever do that, Slasher? You're, this guy should not be a gaming journalist. I don't, I don't, I don't know if anyone respects him at this point, but if they do, they shouldn't, because he's a fucking idiot. Why would you do this? Uh, near Rancho uh, Santa Fe. That is the area. I think this guy has talked about how he didn't go to journalism school. Well, he probably should have. If he did go, whoever taught him needs to be fired immediately, but seriously. That Dr. Disrespect lives in, mm -hmm. and he sent me a screenshot from the next from his next door, which is in that area, and there is a comment that says, we just saw Dr. Disrespect in handcuffs. He lives right there, I assuming it has something to do with the accusation. This allegation would be revealed as completely fabricated. This guy calls him- And in the full clip, even Hassan calls him out and is like, bro, why are you doing this? Like, why, why are you pushing an unsubstantiated allegation you don't have proof? for at all it doesn't make sense like with doc he admitted to doing something wrong so we know that something fucked up happened right whether or not we have the dms he admitted that just having inappropriate interactions with a minor he did knowingly meanwhile when it comes to this other claim that that you know 
Slasher is making. He has no proof for it. He got a random DM and decided to publicize that on Hassan's stream. And even Hassan had to call him out. Tom, I followed Slasher's work for like 20 years and he's always been like this. Is that true? He's just, he seems so gossipy. He's like a little girl. He hears a little claim and he's like, oh, guys, I got to talk about this claim. I have no proof for it. Like he is part of the reason why Doc is able to get away because he does a shitty job at everything. <laughs> himself a journalist. He's the best thing to ever happen to Doc. So the stage was set for Dr. Disrespect. He is the best thing to ever happen to Doc, unironically. Next comeback. All he had to do was recontextualize his statement and call- Hassan, the voice of journalistic reason. In this case, he is. He is. In comparison to, to Slasher, Hassan looked like a genius in that clip. He looked like, you know, someone who was doing his due diligence, unironically. All the Twitch staff liars. But what I didn't expect was him to incriminate himself even more. Him teasing his return was insane. First, he posted a picture of him playing chess. Doc, is you getting canceled for being a pedo a, a game to you? Is this all part of your plan, huh? People responded by showing that Doc was playing a kid. Doc would continue to tease that this was all part of his master plan. He wanted people to think he was a pedophile. Not Alan Rogers for five says, I'm getting reports that Dr. Disrespect's house was blown up by helicopters because of Twitch. Thank you for sharing that. Oh my God. Credible verified report, dude. His house is blown up. We know it. We got the proof now. We got it. But what I didn't expect was him to incriminate himself even more. Him teasing his return was insane. First, he posted a picture of him playing chess. Doc, is you getting canceled for being a pedo a, a game to you? Is this all part of your- But this is like the delusional shit that he tried to push, which I don't even think he believes. He just knows that people in the audience are retarded enough to believe it. He literally tried to say it was a 5D chess move to admit to interacting inappropriately with a minor. And then afterwards, afterwards, he's like, you see, it was a chess move to get these so-called journalists to report on what I said. It's like, oh, what a genius move, dude. That is totally reasonable. So I'll, a I'll ask, I'll ask anyone who wants to defend Doc one question, okay? Is it more reasonable to assume that Doc decided to publicly admit to being a pedophile so that he could sue journalists who reported on what he admitted to, d to doing, right? Is that more reasonable than the idea that Doc got scared, thought the messages might leak, and admitted it? And then now he decided that he would come back with this whole story about Twitch, which could be, the story about Twitch could be true, but it doesn't, it, like, you can't use that to downplay what he admitted to doing. You can't. It doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense. And I'll, I'll, I'll make a promise right now. Doc is not going to successfully sue anybody, anybody involved in that case. He's not going to sue Cody Connors. He's not going to sue anyone at Twitch again. He's not going to sue... Uh, he's not he's, he's not going to sue any journalists who talked about it. He's not going to. It's not going to happen, dude. It's not going to happen. The Fourth Rome says, just admit you're part of a Twitter mob and instantly presume someone's guilty because a YouTuber said so. Fourth Rome, do you know about the whole history of the docs thing? Of the Dr. Disrespect thing? Do you want to talk about this on stream? I think it would be an interesting conversation. Thomas, sounds like you didn't wash your hands. I didn't, which is based plan, huh? People responded by showing that Doc was playing a kid. Doc would continue to tease that this was all part of his master plan. He it's reasonable he was purposely vague to then sue those that took the leap, but it's not because the thing is he's, he was purposely vague, but he did admit to having inappropriate interactions with a minor. And that's all that journalists reported on. Journalists didn't say Dr. Disrespect fucked a kid. If you find any article that says that, I would love to see it. All that outlets like the Rolling Stone reported was Doc admits to having inappropriate interactions with a minor. By the way, we interviewed an anonymous Twitch employee who has gone on the record and said that he, uh, he, you know, did do that and worse. And he knew the minor's age. It's illegal to bait people into defamation. I don't think it's illegal to bait people, but it doesn't make any fucking sense. And he's not going to successfully sue anyone, N not a single person. He's not going to win against anyone in court for reporting what he publicly said. He wanted people to think he was a pedophile. He would change his Twitter wallpaper to a bobber with his tweet admitting to the allegations being the bait. It was at this point I realized that Dr. Disrespect eats crayons and he's hoping that we all eat crayons too. This yeah, but there's a lot of crayon eaters who do believe him, who are just big fans of him. These people do exist. There are a lot of crayon eaters. This master plan of his makes no sense. He thinks we're all stupid. The day before his stream, he posted a hype video of him driving a boat, teasing that he's coming back to streaming. People would joke that he's returning from Epstein's Island. Doc did not like that. His return stream was huge. When I was watching it peaked at over 220,000 live viewers, the VOD is sitting at over 3 million. Everyone is dying to know, what is Doc's defense? It's him playing word games, defending himself from allegations that were never made. He addresses the allegations as if they're a joke. Elephant in the room, Doc, we're waiting. Oh my god. Oh God, it's the worst of the words of the words of the worst of the thing I've ever ever I never ever 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 Just relax, man. <laughs> He spends most of the time being mad at Cody for leaking why he was banned. Cody, why why you why do this? What was the point? And you knowing how black and white the internet is, you decided you f 
fucking rat. To leak the reported... What's he doing? Calling him a rat is so... It's such a weird thing. Like, you realize a, a rat is not typically someone that is lying. A rat is typically someone that, like, whistleblows and tells the truth and it gets someone in trouble, right? Calling him a rat is a very weird, like... I, I feel like it's almost a self-report. It's almost telling. It's like, why would you say that about me? Why would you reveal that about me? It's like, well, maybe because you did something wrong and weird. And I don't I don't want to defend Cody Connors. A rat is a snitch? Yeah. But in this case, like, I, I feel like this is something that's good to snitch on. I don't want to defend Cody Connors. Cody Connors was, you know talking about how he wanted to sell concert tickets by revealing to like you know if you go you get it revealed to you the reason doc was banned i don't think he actually revealed the reason doc was banned at any concert so he wasn't really profiting off of that i think it was mostly a joke but still it's a really weird thing to say i don't think cody connors is the most offensible person in the world i do not think he's going to be sued whatsoever ever reason twitch banned me in 2020 well, i mean for what the problem isn't that Cody leaked it. The problem is that Dr. Disrespect let people find out this way. Bro, you had four years to tell people, and instead you let them believe in all of these false conspiracies. You were being sneaky about it. He threatens to sue Cody. Did you not know the repercussions from spewing lies about the two time? He's not going to sue him. Did you not know the repercussions He's of not. accusing me, Cody Connors? Cody. Also, defamation in the United States, especially against a public figure, has an extremely high bar. Even if it's true that the inappropriate messages Doc sent don't meet the legal standard of sexting, Cody Connors is technically legally within his right to say that that's the reason he believes he was banned if he heard it from someone else. Like, he can he can technically say that. If it's proven that he acted with actual malice or reckless disregard for the truth, then you can maybe get him in court, but I don't think it's going to happen. There's a, the, the actual malice standard needs to be reached with a public figure, and I, I don't think that's going to happen. And I highly, highly, highly doubt there's like there's like... No possibility in my mind that Cody Connors is going to be taken to court. And if he is taken to court, there's no like reason for me to believe that he's going to lose at all. It's not going to happen. Let him sue, see what happens. It's not even going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. He's not going to sue him at all. Notice how he like implied, like, do you know what happens when you lie about the two time, but he wouldn't publicly say if he was going to sue him or not? I don't think he's going to do it. It's not going to happen, bro. He never signed anything. It was simply relaying why Doc was banned from Twitch. Cody didn't lie anywhere. This is exactly why Doc was banned. Doc would never win a defamation case with this. Doc's main defense is to play semantics. When Doc gets accused of sexting a minor, he doesn't deny it. Instead, he redefines the word. You didn't have any firsthand knowledge of my dispute with Twitch. You said that I got banned from Twitch because I was sexting a minor through Whisper's messages? <laughs> Do you even know what the legal definition of sexting is? Doc's like, why even say that? Why not just say, I didn't sext a minor? If you didn't do it, why can't you just say, I didn't sext a minor, I didn't do anything wrong, I didn't do anything bad? Why not just say that? I wonder why. I wonder why. Not denying sexually messaging a minor here. If he sued, wouldn't that mean the chats would have to be submitted to court and could be leaked or something? During the discovery process, um, probably would have to get leaked, yes. Going to this live stream based. But yeah, if I had to if I had to guess, it probably would be brought out in discovery, and I don't think Doc wants that. He doesn't want to release the messages on his own. He doesn't want to. Uh, and people will be like, oh, well, he's under NDA. He can't release them. But he's not under NDA anymore. He publicly said the NDA was broken by Cody Connors and other Twitch employees. Therefore, he can say whatever the fuck he wants about it. And he won't. He won't. He won't release the messages. Why is that? Really makes you think. Here, instead, he redefines it to be about the legal definition of sexting, which is exchanging images or video. Out of the three allegations to come out against Dr. D I didn't even, if that is a legal standard, then he easily could have like been like, I want to fuck you. And <laughs> legally, it might not have been sexting. That is insane. Disrespect, none of them accused him of sending or receiving pictures. Twitch whispers don't even allow that. If he did that, he'd be in jail. Doc pretty much entirely sticks to a legal argument. And also, why does he say supposed minor? Well, they didn't even know the age of consent in their state. It's like, Okay, so then from Doc's own words, at best, at best, the age of this person was 16 or 17 years old talking to a man in his mid-30s. Like, that is fucked up. That You can't defend that. Does Doc have access to the messages? I would guess yes. At the very least, he probably has knowledge of them enough that he can describe them. But I would guess he does have access because if he went to court about it and, you know, they did, you know, a discovery process privately because it was a sealed civil case, the messages must exist somewhere. Someone has them. And I would guess the doc has seen them and they were, you know, read out during that court case. So he probably has access to them. And if he doesn't, he definitely has some memory of them. But yet he won't get into the specifics of what he said. He won't name one quote. He won't name one single quote. Because that's all he's got. Hey guys, I may have flirted with a minor, but at least she didn't send me CP. What a defense. You also said the... I wouldn't trust Doc to describe them without embellishment on his part. I agree, but at the very least, we would have something, right? We'd have something. But he won't even do that. Because maybe if he if he described the messages in detail now, if he tried to, then maybe we'd have another anonymous Twitch employee or maybe a Twitch employee going on the record to say what was in those messages and contradict him. But he won't do that. Word minor, Cody. I even made sure that word was emphasized in my statement. Edited 
etc. Just to make sure these so-called journalists would pick up on it. <laughs> and boy, oh boy, did they ever, champs. He is unironically going with the narrative that he purposely made himself look like a pedo. <laughs> <laughs> Am I supposed to believe that? He lost his gaming company, his bourbon company, was dropped from- If Cody and Twitch employees lied, then could Doc have broken the NDA first by his own logic? Yes, of course. The thing is, if they had lied, if they had lied, then he would easily have been able to talk about, well, I didn't even do that and I wasn't accused, accused of that in the case, even if you couldn't get into the details, right? You can talk about things that aren't, that like don't regard the court case. You can talk about that. You can talk about the Twitch ban if it's stuff that doesn't regard the court case. But obviously, this does regard the court case. And notice how Doc, once again, he's willing to say that Cody lied, quote unquote, because he didn't know the legal definition of sexting. But he won't say that Cody lied about what he actually sent. He won't say that. He won't say that the other anonymous Switch employee that got interviewed by Rolling Stone lied about what they actually said about the interactions. And once again, he won't show the interactions. It really makes you think, like, why is that? Why is that? From the 49ers, it was kicked out of the YouTube partner program. Like, if the messages weren't bad, he could easily show it and disprove it. Easily easily and he refuses to but hey doc at least you got the journalist as well as most of the online world to think that you sexually messaged teenagers you really did win genius you also tried to tell the world that i was trying to meet up with this user at twitchcon but you're wrong let's set the record straight i never intended to meet this user ever we never made plans to meet at twitchcon or anywhere else and in fact we n never met. Notice like the very careful wording too, right? He's like, I never intended to meet the person. I never made plans to meet them at TwitchCon. I never made detailed plans to meet them, but he won't dispel the idea that he suggested like, oh, maybe we can meet up, right? Because if you're not, if you're not listening to him carefully, you might miss this. He won't just say, I never discussed ever any plans to meet this person ever in any of the messages, but he won't say that. He has to like be very technical with it. It makes you think, what's in those messages? In person, Ever. This is the first and only time Doc ever outright denies an allegation. The anonymous Twitch employee alleged that they talked about meeting up at TwitchCon. Now, Doc has relied on a lot of technicalities for his defense, but he hasn't True. outright lied. In fact, he's actually been pretty truthful if you really pay attention. So he could be telling the truth here. We'd have to see the messages to come to a more accurate conclusion. What they conveniently left out is, one, Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally admitted that the whisper messages were not sexting. Again, this is Doc relying on legal technicalities to defend his actions. Nobody ever alleged that Doc did anything illegal. You don't have to do something illegal to get banned from a social media website. And not only that, you don't have to do something illegal to be like completely morally retarded, right? Chris Tyson hasn't been arrested. There's never been any court case against Chris Tyson legally. Chris Tyson probably will never go to jail. Does that mean Chris Tyson's a good person? No, obviously not. We've seen what Chris did. In Doc's case, Doc admitted to what he did, and people are still coping about it. And you don't have to do something illegal for it to still be wrong. Twitch's trust and safety team, the same employees that decided to ban me, internally acknowledged that the whispers did not constitute child sexual abuse material CSAM. I'll say it again. Neither I nor the Twitch user exchanged any sexual graphic messages or images. Wow, the bar- Do you think he'll try to expound on anything he said if he gets denied from part of a program on YouTube? I doubt any response is going to be good enough comparing how bad the first couple were. I highly, 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 highly doubt it. No. Fuck no. There's no fucking way. Because if he wanted, you know, to increase his chances of getting in the partner program, and he thought that the messages would exonerate him, he would have already released those. He would have already done it, but he won't. He won't. If he gets denied from the partner program, which we don't know how that's going to go, I would guess he'll probably be denied. But if he does get denied from the partner program, I would guess that he's probably going to try to go to some other website or make money through Streamlabs donations or something. There's no fucking way. There's no fucking way he'll ever release the messages. The only way we're going to get those messages in full is if someone from Twitch leaks them. Or is so low. Cody Connors and these other anonymous sources are trying to paint a picture that I was exchanging sexually explicit messages and photos with this Twitch user. Nobody even said photos. Not one person has said photos. Who said photos? The anonymous person in Rolling Stone didn't say photos. Cody Connors never even said photos. He said sexting. And they didn't say legally sexting. They said like colloquially sexting. Nobody even said he's defending himself against the allegation that was never even made. That never happened. He's doing it again. Nobody ever alleged that he exchanged photos. You True. can't exchange photos over Twitch whispers. Nobody thought that. This is when Doc's dishonesty becomes clear. He's going to misrepresent allegations and call them lies when in reality they line up pretty accurately to his own story. I even used the word inappropriate purpose and look at how it's defined by everyone, champs. Huh? Including these defaming articles. I'm so Defaming articles? We'll sue them then, right? Take them to court if they lied. Take them to court. Do it right now. Sorry, but 
mutual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. Doc is straight up rewriting history. He's already described the messages himself as a moral wrong. In his initial statement, Doc says, oh, From a moral standpoint, I'll absolutely... He takes responsibility. He says, I never should have entertained the conversations. If you didn't do anything wrong, why would you say you shouldn't have entertained them? Huh? Take responsibility. I should have never entertained these conversations to begin with. That's on me. That's on me as an adult. As an adult. He references himself as an adult, a husband and a father. Why would you have to apologize and reference the fact that you're an adult, a husband and a father that shouldn't have done it if there wasn't any kind of sexual intent or any kind of sexual conversation taking place? Why? Adult, a husband, and a father. It should have never happened. I get it. That's it. That's why Twitch made the decision to ban me in Twitch. And once again, he won't even he won't even deny he won't even deny knowing the age of the person because he did know the age, right? He won't be like, I didn't know their age. He admitted. He admitted it through his actions. In the article, the Rolling Stone employee said he knew the age. Cody Connors. Affirmed. He knew the age. And what, did, what does Doc say? He just doesn't respond to that point. He responds to a point about how he sent images, supposedly, which nobody even made the fucking claim about him sending images. You can't even send images in Twitch Whispers. Like, it doesn't make sense. 2020. So is Twitch really in the wrong when Doc himself describes... All right, fourth Rome, you're getting banned in my chat for being a fucking loser. Goodbye. Thanks for coming on stream. Or not. You're owned. The situation is a moral wrong that Doc as the adult should have had better judgment on? No, of course not. You should get banned for this. Doc is backpedaling this statement because it makes his audience feel better about watching him. How would each of you look if all of your private DMs, your text messages, your chats were looked at, dissected, and taken out of context by someone who... Well, the average person doesn't have inappropriate messages with a minor, so I don't think it would look that bad, honestly. Like, this is not a situation where you're, like, somebody's, like, making edgy jokes with an adult. It's you, like, making suggestive comments, apparently, with a minor, which you admitted to, at the very least, at the very least. And you won't even say, I never sexted them. You said it doesn't meet the legal definition of sexting because I never sent photos. That's all you'll say. Why don't you just say, I never, ever, 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 ever sexted this person. There were no, sec why there were no sexual messages. Why can't he say that? I wonder who's deliberately trying to find something inappropriate in those words. I also have inappropriate messages on my phone, but none of them are to minors. I feel like we keep forgetting that key component here. Doc then tries to spin a narrative that his ex-partner manager was out to get him, and that's why he was banned. We got zero support from this guy. And it's like, even if your ex-partner manager was out to get you, that doesn't absolve you of what the of what is claimed and what you admitted to. It doesn't. And it was just so obvious that he carried a grudge against the two-time. So after we signed with Twitch in two... This is shocking for Doc's age. If older people were the demographic watching him, this would have been sorted. The thing is, I think he does have a lot of people who are older watching him. They're just retarded. They're fucking morons. They're monkeys. <laughs> okay, they're low IQ. 2019, we asked for a new partner manager. And just a few months later, that ex-Twitch partner manager is directly involved with getting me banned. <laughs> Coincidence? The Twitch user tells this ex-Twitch partner manager that they do not want to report anything to Twitch. But this ex-Twitch partner manager encourages the user and even directs them to file a report directly with Twitch, even though the user told him clearly that we never physically met anywhere and that no photographs were exchanged. Unless you think it's okay to sexually message someone who's under 18 years old, I don't see the relevance of this story. If you just don't send the messages, you don't get banned. Why True! Why is so much to ask for? LER analyst cherry picks and sends a few targeted excerpts out of context from the whisper messages to the so what did they take out of context can you like what did they can you tell us what was taken out of context like what and what is the greater context if it wouldn't make you look bad just like say what it is can you do that why not it's direct now if you do this you can make anyone's messages look inappropriate even when they aren't but you called them inappropriate something that should exactly you said <laughs> he said it he fucking said it. He's trying to manipulate his audience and it probably will work. It's working right now for a certain amount of people, for sure. I feel like not enough people are going after him. I wish like Critical would do like a breakdown publicly and just like wreck this guy. But Critical stop doing drama or something, but somebody bigger has got to has got to come down to this guy and call him out for being a fucking idiot. Never happened that you need to take more responsibility for. So which is it? The NCMEC, Twitch submits that report. The National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Guess what? As far as I know, and over four years have passed, they didn't do anything with the report. Well, yeah, you didn't get to fuck them, and you didn't do anything illegal. We know that. You didn't break the law. We know that. It doesn't matter. Just because you didn't break the law doesn't mean that something immoral did not happen. You admitted it. You admitted you fucked up. You said you should have entertained the conversations that were inappropriate with a minor. What? What is, what is the takeaway from that, bro? Come on. As far as I know, they didn't escalate Twitch's report to law enforcement.
<laughs> he acts like this is some big revelation. Twitch has to do this according to federal law. If Twitch finds inappropriate messages involving a minor, they are legally obligated to escalate it to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. If the messages aren't illegal, meaning no images or videos were sent, then nothing happens. It's a standard operation. Yet he keeps bringing up the legality as if the only thing people care about is whether it's legal or not. The same people that made this- But that's his defense. He won't admit to doing anything immoral in the stream to his big audience, right? He deleted the prior response, so they can't even see his first acknowledgement of that he of that he did anything wrong. And then they'll just talk about legality. Like, I didn't do anything legally wrong. I didn't legally sex this person. It's like, okay, I don't give a fuck. You're still a liar. You're still a creepy weirdo. This decision at Twitch admit internally that the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitting that they never investigated the age of consent in the jurisdiction where the user's messages were sent and received. He thought this made him sound good. Again, this is an admission of guilt. He's acknowledging that she was a minor. Also, if these messages weren't sexual, then why would the age of consent interstate matter? Exactly! Exactly! Dude, hitting it on the head. Why would age of consent even matter if the messages weren't bad or sexual? Why would that even be something to bring up, right? If you didn't have any real intentions. Oh, then you had fantastical, you had fantasy intentions in your mind that you just never got to follow through on. Because somebody apparently noticed what you were up to, right? Why even bring up real intentions and age of consent and be like, well, legally I didn't do anything wrong if nothing bad really happened. It doesn't make sense. Hmm, Doc seems to spend a lot of time on that. Hmm. So then why did Twitch use these messages against me? Because you sexually messaged a minor and that's a terrible look for a billion dollar company. True. I... Especially with him being one of like the biggest representatives of their platform. They don't want that guy around. Why did Twi Twitch treat the docs so differently from their other streamers? They didn't. In 2020, Twitch started an initiative where viewers could report allegations of Gold Doc Sparrow. Sparrow. saying we take accusations of sexual harassment and misconduct extremely seriously. We are actively looking into accounts concerning streamers affiliated with Twitch and will work with law enforcement where applicable. During this time, over 70 allegations surfaced, leading to dozens of Twitch bans. Like Zero, Nairo, Method Josh, and Shinshin. Doc is one of many streamers that got caught. He wasn't some special target by his manager. None of these other people were ever charge and they all talk just like doc now i need to make this very clear to everybody watching this video i have never received explicit images from any underage individual i have never sent explicit images to any underage individual i have never made travel arrangements with ulterior motives with any underage individual but he did message a minor inappropriately katie Ouchie. sarcastically asks him if he wants a girl that bad to which he responds that he wants her she questions him, but he tells her not to worry and- Oh, this is a zero, right? This is the zero shit. Fulfill his request. Since they weren't arrested because text messages aren't illegal, they claim that they didn't do anything wrong. This is always the defense. Which is a lie by omission. It doesn't make any sense. And trust me, we've worked hard for over a decade to improve as a person, a husband. We've worked hard to improve as a person, a husband. Well, then why the fuck did you do that? Why did you why did you cheat on your wife multiple times? One of the, one of those times being with a minor. I don't even I don't even care honestly that he cheated on his wife. It doesn't really matter to me. It's not my business. But like bloviating about how you were trying to improve as a person while admitting to having inappropriate interactions with a minor and then lying about it after the fact to manipulate your audience into still watching you is so disgusting. And he's still at this point he's unwilling to take responsibility for what he did. Okay, he will not own up to what he did. He refuses to because he wants to save his little career. It's it's like it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's unbecoming. This is not a real man. I'm sorry. It's not. I know it's silly. Oh, the goofy kid with the emo haircut calling Doc not a real man. Yeah, if you're if you're a fucking 35 year old man and you get caught having inappropriate messages with somebody who is underage, but oh, it's not illegal. I don't give a fuck. Fuck you. You're a fucking loser. And father and to get where we're at today. I mean, I'm in such a good place. <clears throat> today and all these people they all act like they're just so perfect i'm not perfect apparently asking a streamer to not message a minor it's too much it's demanding they be perfect doc would then compare what he did to someone who said the n-word they wanted to cut down the doc plain and simple take a look at some of these horrendous acts of twitch streamers that were never banned i've got some examples right here a streamer that frequently used the n-word while tom lifts but he's not vegan he's half a man very true vegan gains publicly streaming which constitutes a violation of Twitch's policies if accompanied by hateful intent. Oh, he said the N-word. That's so bad, bro. He said the N-word. 
<laughs> Twitch scheduled a meeting with a streamer to ascertain his intent to determine whether his contact was a violation of Twitch's policies, ultimately determining it was not a- Bro, even, even a bunch of, like, black creators who, like, stereotypically you would be like, oh, they're gonna get offended by this. Like, I saw a clip from this, this guy, this, like, black streamer who came out, he was like, bro, even comparing the N-word to messing around with kids is, like, completely retarded and insane. And he was right. Thank you, Phoenix, for becoming a member. A breach of Twitch's policies. Hey, Doc may be a pedophile, but at least he's not a racist. Example number two. He is, though. And he's based for it. Dr. Disrespect speaking Chinese. So awesome. Are you in here? Boy, you, you really ripped off my uh, two-hit lammy. Whew. I don't know how you did it. I don't know how you did it. Ah, momoka memoa. This made me like him. This made me like him, okay? You know, I don't remember when I saw this for the first time. It was probably five years ago. I thought he was funny. And then it was like, oh, well, now we have to find out at the same time he was doing that. He was in the Twitch whispers getting weird. Streamer was reported for discussing doing things with deceased animals and discussing pedophilia all while live streaming. Never suspended, but instead given a multi-million dollar contract. The who is he even talking about here? I'm still so curious. I haven't seen anyone show who he's talking about. What streamer did that and was given a multi-million dollar contract? Who is it? People kept saying Vosh. Vosh is banned on Twitch, so it's not Vosh. Who was who he talking about? Keffels? Keffels was never given a multi-million dollar Twitch contract. Keffels was averaging like 500 viewers at her peak. Pokemon? I don't think Pokemon has ever done that. I will be completely shocked. Alinity? Has Alinity talked on stream about how she was having sex with dogs and also was she given millions of dollars by Twitch or does she just have a, uh, does she just have like a standard Twitch contract? Ninja? Did Ninja do that? When did Ninja do that? Confiscation is crazy. Doc, if you joked about messaging a minor, that would be fine. The problem is you actually did it. Streamer Exactly. Was reported for a sexually explicit stream involving children and telling children to send Snapchats of them playing with themselves. Never suspended, but instead, hmm, given a multi-million dollar contract. That who is he talking about? Who is he talking about there? Who? Wh who? Who? A person belongs in jail then, but who are you talking about? Doc never names them because odds are his retelling of the story is inaccurate. Doc or they just don't exist. Who is this person? Then cries about having to lay people off. We just lost... <sighs> man unfortunately we have to lay off people from midnight society and whose fault is that you fucking gooner yours no one else is yours you did the bad thing you got called out for it you tried to hide it you got exposed you're now lying it's your fault accept responsibility it is not anyone else's fault but your own that half of your gaming studio got laid off okay it is your fault again it's all your fault am i supposed to feel bad and i'm not denying the exchange of whispers champs i'm not denying that to to all of you out there, it looks bad. I have no way of knowing if the Twitch user thought our exchange of whips whispers was inappropriate. If it was, I apologize. That's it. I'm not saying anything more about any of this. What about showing the messages? People want to show the messages, release the messages, show the messages. <laughs> what are we in second grade? I don't what does that even mean? What does that even mean? What does that even mean? Somebody's asking you to release the messages. Probably a fan of yours because you had sub only mode turned on. Somebody's like, oh, just exonerate yourself. Release the messages. You're like, what are you in second grade? What a weird response. Don't get it. It would be the quickest way for him to exonerate himself. He makes it seem like the courts gave him access to the messages. L let me just remind you, I went through a multi-year, multi mil a, a, a big time arbitration. Okay. And, uh, you know, you discover a lot of stuff. At this point, whatever NDA was in place has surely been broken. Exactly. He actually said at the beginning of the stream, he said the NDA was broken so I can talk about this stuff. So it's like, just re release them, release them. So show the messages or at least describe them in detail. Show how they were taken out of context. He doesn't because odds are the messages are pretty bad. So what really is the truth beyond Dr. Disrespect's ban? Well, with Doc's new testimony, we could actually paint a full picture. In All 2017, right. while Doc was cheating on his wife, he messaged a 16 or 17 year old in Twitch whispers. They may or may not have talked about meeting up, but everyone agrees that the messages were inappropriate and morally wrong to have with someone who was under 18. I'm not denying the exchange of whispers, champs. Three years later in 2020, Twitch would launch an initiative where viewers could report allegations against streamers. Now, whether Doc's ex-partner manager encouraged the minor to file the report or not doesn't matter because the messages exist. So Doc was banned and his contract was terminated. Contracts with talent tend to have a vague morality clause where if the talent does something deemed immoral, the company can terminate them. Doc sees this and he goes, oh, shit. 
I'm about to be labeled a pedo, so he sues them. There's a reason why we're suing the f out of him. He sues Twitch and Doc takes the stance that he didn't do anything immoral because it wasn't illegal. Allegations that Twitch made without even a legal analysis of whether the whisper messages were illegal! So now it's being argued between lawyers if Doc messaging a minor is immoral if the age of consent in her state is 16. If it's not illegal, how can it be a moral wrong? That the messages did not warrant any child sexual abuse material charge. Twitch makes this decision to terminate my contract and ban me while admitted they did not perform any legal analysis of whether the messages exchanged were illegal in any way. Twitch may have realized that this is uncharted waters and a potential PR nightmare, especially if they lose. So they pay him out and they come- She could be Japanese. I mean, she could be. He won't even say like the age of consent where she was. He'll just say without you, you didn't even check the age of consent where she was, but he won't actually say where it was. So, I mean, it could be France where the age of consent, I think was like 14 or 15 up until a couple months ago. Who knows? To an agreement, no party admits to any wrongdoing. So finally, after all these years, that's more or less the full picture. And if you see any Dr. Disrespect fans that disagree with this analysis, link them to this timestamp. I am only citing Dr. Disrespect for these receipts. Here we go. Doc's return stream surpassed over 3 million views, and this narrative that he purposely made himself look like a pedo as bait worked for him. His viewers have to be children. Someone explain to me how that makes any sense. They were all over Nick Merck's channel, calling him a backstabber. Nick isn't smart enough to understand any of this. Actual bantering with inappropriate jokes taken out of context should have never led to me getting banned from Twitch in the first place. If this is true, if what he's saying is true right now, why does he not show everybody the whispers? I mean- And not only that, why did he admit to doing something wrong before? Why did he not just admit to it? I don't understand. Stop saying turn on the audio, I fucking did. It would be instant. It's fucking on. If you're, okay, Mother's Milk, you're banned in my chat for saying that. Goodbye. I'm banning seven of you right now. I picked a number. Enjoy your banning. Oscar? Oh, say I muted? Said I muted, you're banned. Goodbye. Go ahead, someone else say it. Get banned in my chat forever. Oh, Mooniatric. There you go. Banned. Who else? Who else wants to fuck around? Oh, uh, uh, let's see here. Withered in chat. Banned. Goodbye. <sighs> oh, John Agua. You're mad too? You're mad? Banned. All right, that's seven. Enjoy your bands. We're gonna keep watching. Instant. Why can't we see the whispers? Because now he's saying that they're jokes. I mean, I make jokes all the time. And if I made a joke and people were saying that it wasn't, I would show everyone it's a joke. Confirm. Or you would at least say it's a joke. He didn't even say that. He didn't say it was a joke in his initial response. He refused to say that. Why is that? I wonder. Why is that? Why is that? Confusing, man. Pretty rational take. He's not showing the whispers yet because he's probably in the process of suing the f out of them. Doc is not- That doesn't even make sense. He already did that. He already went through litigation. He already did that, you fucking moron. He said the NDA's over. He can show whatever messages he wants. Who is he gonna sue now? Cody Connors? No, he's not. He's not. Not suing anyone, and Doc is never going to show anyone the messages. If they exonerated him, he would have- Rip too mad, at least he didn't lie. <laughs> I guess not. He basically admitted to what he did on my stream, yeah. <clears throat> the very least. I've shown them by now. The vibe that I'm getting from Doc is that original tweet he had put out, he's backtracking. Yes. And in that tweet, he had admitted to sending inappropriate texts or whatever to a minor. Those were his True. words, not mine, not Tim's, not whoever. Now, he later deleted this tweet. Uh, personally, I don't think it changes much. I know his premise and what he's dying on is that what he did was not illegal. And look, I get that. But at the end of the day, you messaged a minor and it was inappropriate. For me, this is not about legality. This is not something that takes a high IQ. Nick Merck's having like great takes. Why is Nick Merck fucking spitting? I don't even know a lot about him, but this guy is spitting facts all day right now. Time to make me want to goon all night long, base you to understand unless you think doc should be able to sexually message 16 year olds he's in the wrong this is not a backstab nick would respond to the hate tweeting this retard doctor disrespect is married with children pushing 40 and admits to sexting a minor inappropriately his words not mine so i cut ties because obviously that's inexcusable now i'm a shit friend for not having his back bunch of brain rot morons on this app a doctor replies a real friend would have called him and talked to him man to man nick says i've said multiple times he sent a text to the boys and i apologizing for us being dragged into it. Regardless, it doesn't matter. Ninja, Tim's, Laner, they've all remained silent because once you take out the semantics, all Doc's response does is confirm the allegations. Even Myron, who defends Andrew Tate, has trouble defending Doc. Like, yeah, this is fucked up, but I would say give him a little bit, like, like, text him on the side, like, bro, let me see the messages. Jeremy has been trying his best to defend- What, what? Okay, he wasn't exactly def- He wasn't exactly going after Doc there. Text him on the side, say, let me see the messages. Okay, but 
Don't you think if Doc wanted to give those over, he would have just said that? He messaged them and said, I'm sorry I dragged you into this mess. I fucked up. Why isn't Dr. Disrespect calling out Nick Merckx right now if he thinks he did something wrong, right? Why isn't he getting into drama with him? I wonder. It really makes you wonder. Why isn't he being like, all my friends left me and we're shitty friends? Why isn't he doing that? Weird. And Doc, he's basically had to make up parts of the video that don't exist. The same employees also internally acknowledged that the messages were not sexual in nature. That's not even true! You fucking retard! That's not even what he said! He said they acknowledged they weren't legally sexting. If Doc is even telling the truth there, that doesn't mean they weren't sexual in nature. <laughs> Why are you- you don't even know what happened. Okay. Dr. Disrespect never even made that claim. I'm convinced that Jeremy never actually watched Doc's video. He read- he probably is drunk or something again. This guy's tweet and then decide to upload his opinion. Classic Jeremy. Da, 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 a toast to the bad guy. With bad bitches and bad times will pass by. In conclusion, Doc returning to a successful stream was always going to be the outcome. If Cody doesn't have the messages and the journalist doesn't have the messages and the journalist anonymous source isn't even willing to state their name, well then that leaves the door open for Doc to backpedal his statement and rewrite the narrative. The only reason he admitted to anything is because he thought the messages were going to come out. I called this over two months ago. Everyone agrees on one thing though, if the DMs don't leak, Doc is going to be able to set the narrative for his comeback. Is there some bizarro world that- Yes, yeah, the world that you created, Slasher. Hi Tom, love the content, have a coffee on me. Scale of 1 to 10, how much you love in the drama? 13. He gets more popular? I don't know. Yes, it's happened, all because these journalists couldn't lock down a shred of evidence. He streamed to 80k people yesterday. I am convinced Doc is guilty because his own retelling of the story is him being guilty. If you still want to watch him, that's fine. If you still like him, that's cool. But let's not defend what he did. I, I, I think that Doc is existing inside of the scope of ambiguity. And he's not using specifics because he's relying on people's uh, trust in him and charisma for people to assume that he did the right thing. Yes. And he didn't do something wrong. That'll be it for today. Subscribe True. to the channel. And Goddamn. Be sure to check out Meta PC. You know what? Maybe I will use your Meta PC link, buddy. Maybe I will. Maybe I will check out Meta PCs just because your video was so freaking good. Good job, Willie Mac Show, as always. Knocked it out of the park.